Okay, let's calculate your product market fit with Action Desk. So here, if you are on the page of uh, this use case, you'll see a detailed tutorial. And I'll assume that you did that whole far first part by yourself, where you retrieved a template from Airtable here. And I also assume that you can do these two first steps by yourself. So it's uh, creating an action disk sheet and importing all the data from that Airtable that uh, you just uh, downloaded the template into Action Desk, and you have a video here. So it's done here. And what I'm going to do is that I want to create um, a column where I'll get the survey week, because what I want to do is to see each week what my answers are to, this, to the survey um, that I send to my users to, in order to see whether each week I'm getting better answers. And the answer I'm seeking is that people would be very disappointed if I if they couldn't use my product anymore. So here I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a computed column. As you see, it will become gray here, uh, which means that it's com a computed column. And it means that the formula I'll put here will be applied to the whole column. And when I'll get new rows, new answers to my survey, they will also get the formula applied. So here I will use a format where I have the year underscore a week. So let's do that. I use the year formula on this column. And then I'll put and underscore and and the week number. And I will apply it to the same column. This way, I have for each row the, the survey week, which will be the same, yeah, as you see, because the, they all have been created on the same day. It's because it's a template, so, you know, it's not like real life. Um, then, uh, now that I have it, uh, I will create a new sheet that I call PMF score. And there I will create this um, framework for my dashboard where I will put the four answers that people can answer in the survey in three weeks um, that I'll just want to track. Uh, as we've seen, we only have data for here, so it should be zero here and there, and I should retrieve numbers there. So in order to get the numbers, here you'll see that you will do uh, count if, sorry, I'll show you that. We'll do this. We'll do count ifs. We'll count if people to that question, how would you feel, blah, 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 answered the first answer. And then if uh, in the created time, it was in uh, this week, in the survey week. So let's do that. Count ifs. I'll go here. I count if people in this column have answered this answer. And then I'll count if in this column, survey week, how many people answered to the first question in that column. Calculate it. zero as expected and now I'm gonna paste it everywhere. Ah, I think I did an error here. Yeah, I should have put a dollar sign to fix it here and there I should fix it here. Okay. Let's do it again. Good. So we had more people answering that they were very disappointed that other answers, which is exactly what we want. So we should be happy about it. Um, then we want to calculate the product market fit score. 
So that's a column that we're going to add here at the end. And the idea, well, here it's zero, so it will say error, but I'll do it anyways. It's this number divided by the sum of the other answers. And it should be uh, a high number, ideally. Yeah, it's great. 